Welcome to the Daily Sports Update presented to you by Toyota. I'm Tracy Wolfson. The Devil Rays in the ALCS certainly unexpected. The Red Sox forcing a Game 7. No surprise at all. A chance to pull off the comeback for the third time in five years. Game 7, John Lester up against Matt Garza in a rematch of Game 3 in which the Devil Rays won 9-1. Garza was again masterful. He let up a solo shot to Dustin Pedroia early in the first for a 1-0 Boston lead, but that was it. Evan Longoria tied things up at 1 with a fourth inning double and Rocco Bordelli provided the go-ahead run to make it 2-1 and then Willie Abar's homer in the seventh solidified the 3-1 game seven victory for the Devil Rays. Garza was the MVP and rightfully so. He threw 118 pitches, struck out nine, allowed just two hits and one earned run while working into the eighth inning. Rookie reliever Dave Price came in and finished things up. The Devil Rays remarkable comeback continues as they head to the World Series for the first time in franchise history. Before the season started, they were given a 200 to one shot to make it there. They will now host the World Series opener Wednesday night against a very rested Phillies team. To the NFL in week seven action, Tennessee still remains the only unbeaten team in the NFL. They had no trouble in this one as they faced a Kansas City squad that is having one of its worst seasons in franchise history. The Titans got it done behind two backs. Chris Johnson ran for 168 yards and Lendell White piled up 149 on the ground with three touchdowns, including an 80 yard of the franchise's longest since 1983. Tennessee finished the day with 336 total rushing yards which was a franchise record. Kansas City falls to 1-5, and five, and if things couldn't get any worse, they have lost starting quarterback Brody Croyle for the season with a knee injury. The Titans, meanwhile, moved to 6-0 and, and have now won nine straight, going back to a victory last year over the Chiefs. Tony Romo was dressed to play and warmed up during pregame, but he remained sidelined with that broken pinky. So it was up to 40-year-old Brad Johnson to lead them to victory over the 2-4 and four Rams. This one was all St. Louis, though, thanks to a solid defensive effort. The Rams picked off Johnson three times and forced a total of four turnovers. Offensively, they got all they needed from Steven Jackson, who ran a hunt for 160 yards on 35 carries and scored three times. The Rams won easily 34-14. Marion Barber had 100 yards and a touchdown for Dallas as the Cowboys lose for the third time in four games. Owner Jerry Jones saying after the game that head coach Wade Phillips' job is not in danger. A record-breaking kick gave the Raiders an interim head coach, Tom Cable, an overtime win over the New York Jets. Oakland was headed for another disappointing finish after Cable's timeout allowed for Jay Feely to re-kick a field goal he had just missed. That knotted the score at 13 and sent it to OT, but with 2.30 remaining, Sebastian Janikowski nailed a 57-yard field goal, and the Raiders get the victory for just the second time this season. Janikowski's field goal sets a new team record, breaking the 56 yard mark he said earlier this year Oakland wins it 16 13. Some injury news coming out of week seven in their loss to Carolina. The Saints Reggie Bush tore his meniscus in his left knee on a punt return and will have surgery today. He is expected to be sidelined for three to four weeks with the Saints on a bye after the game this weekend in London. Bush could wind up only missing one contest. And finally, college football. The first BCS standings were released, and it's no surprise that Texas holds the top spot with Alabama second. Both teams appear in position to play for the national championship game if they finish the season undefeated. That's not great news for Penn State, who has also yet to lose a game. They will need to keep winning big if they want to catch the tide. The Nittany Lions' biggest test comes this weekend when they head to Ohio State to take on the Buckeyes. That's your daily sports update presented by Toyota. I'm Tracy Wolfson. Have a great day.